your feedlot operator. I travel around the world and I talk to people about the proper amount of animal products to have in their diet as being zero. I started talking to people about not eating animals. Talk to them about mad cow disease. They thought I was the one that had holes in my brain because they'd never heard of it. But I ended up on the Oprah show. I told a few million people that we were grinding up cows and feeding them back to cows. That we were scraping up roadkill, deer, elk, possum, raccoons, and we were feeding those back to cows. And then we were taking euthanized pets, dogs and cats, full of chemicals that were used to kill them. The city of Los Angeles alone, 200 tons of dogs and cats a month are being ground up and put it back in the feed for our pets or our food animals. Oprah, her eyes were as big as saucers. She turned around and looked at the guy from the National Cattlemen's Beef Association and said, Dr. Weber, are we feeding cows to cows? I will never forget what he had to say. Uh, yo, there's a... <laughs> A limited amount of that going on. Well, the next thing out of Oprah's mouth got us sued. She said, that stops me cold. I will never again eat a burger. They ended up suing us for six years. Hundreds of thousands of dollars defending our right to tell the American people the truth. I want you to realize sitting here today that if we don't deal with the truth, if we don't realize the fact that the majority of Americans today are dying from pain inflicted by their fork, we're digging more graves with our fork than any other tool that's out there. When the boat people came to the United States a little under 300 years ago, we had the deepest, richest topsoil on the face of the earth. In 300 years, we have lost 75% of all of the topsoil that was here. It takes 500 years to produce an inch of topsoil. We haven't been here long enough to produce an inch of topsoil and we've lost three quarters of what was here. If we are going to survive as a homo sapien species, we need to understand the fact that 80% of all of the grain that are produced in the United States of America today is stuffed down the throat of an animal. It takes 16 pounds of grain to produce one pound of meat. 16 pounds of grain you can feed 32 hungry people. Which is the best use of our resources? We need to understand that the future is to feed healthy people, not animals to kill them. I spent 45 years of my life in animal production. I will tell you that what we're doing today is absolutely, totally non-sustainable. I changed from a meat-eating animal production person to a person today that is a vegan, eating nothing with a face, liver, or a mother. I changed my diet for my health. I do what I do today as a hardcore vegan for the love of the animals. I know that no animal has to die for me to live. We have to understand that our job is not to do everything. Our job is to do everything that we can do. Go veg. Go green. Save the planet. Thank you very much.